the Dollar Tree. Let's go on in. Look at these giant gift bags. I'm going to get one of these. I love this one with the snowmen. They have all kinds of gift bags. More snowmen. More Christmas cards. The pot holders are here. Oh, they are super cute. And that is a placemat. I'm going to grab four of them on my table. More gift bags. Sometimes they are two for a dollar. We have some holiday wine glasses and different style glasses and cups. I love that one with Santa in the chimney. There are mugs. Lots of paper plates and napkins and more baskets for gift baskets. And this is really cute. I like that. It says Joy to the World on it. Bows. I really like this one. More garland. Oh, that is really cute. A wood sign. There's an elf. And this is really nice. It's already got a bow on it and you can decorate. I'm going to grab the elf. More wood signs. Cute Christmas trees. I like the deer. I'm going to be grabbing a package of these my wreath, a couple of different ones. I'm just trying that. That is really cute. More signs. I love this dish towel too. I believe in the magic of Christmas. That is really cute. And I like this pot holder. It's a two-piece set and I really like this Wood sign, it's a wonderful life. And Dollar Tree has the best Christmas ornament. Every year they just get better and better. I think I'll get this one from the pastor's wife. They have all kinds of goodies to make a great stocking or a gift basket. I'm looking for the chocolate coins. And I got the spoons and I get four because a friend of mine asked me to pick up four of them if I found them. They have sugar cookies, a couple of different styles. I'm going to pick up one each. Perfect for gift baskets. Here are the chocolate coins. I'm going to get a couple bags of these. And a couple bags of little snowmen. Here are the lead lights. They have a ton of ribbon, and I love this North Pole tree farm. That is really cute. I love the milk and mats this year. These are really cute. I'd like candles. I'm going to get a couple of these. These are great. They're foam scatter. I'm going to get them for my wreath that I'm going to be doing. It's a 20-piece set. They have the village here, and I wanted to get a another set of the trees. 
and they have some of the gift boxes. And this one's really cute. I love the truck on it. More gift bags. This one really spoke to me with the dog on it. And more pot holders and tea towels. Known for the holidays. I love that. What a great idea for a basket to display your gifts for a friend. I'm going to grab a hat for the gift basket. I'm doing a transgender basket. I'm going to get two more of the cheese I'm going to grab another creamy, buttery meal mashed potato. I'm going to grab a new Sure Fresh container. Make sure the lid fits always. I said to grab one of these, the swatted spatula. I like the Betty Crocker and the cooking concept. Grabbing one of these because we go through them quickly. I have filled my card up again here at the Dollar Tree. I can't resist all the great finds today. I'm going to go to the back to see if they have my They have the Comet and uh, they have the Ajax. Ajax is 33% more. Comet is 50% more. So I'm going to get I two of them. Hey, this is Slim C. Welcome back to my channel. I have a humongous Dollar Tree haul with a bunch of store clips that I hope you enjoyed. I found a lot of awesome Christmas stuff. New different types of pot holders and tea towels and different style garland to make wreaths and decorations and I went to the little Dollar Tree closest to my house who usually doesn't have anything and they had everything tonight so if you see Dollar Trees that look messy or small never judge a book by its cover go on in and check it out because you'll never know what you find we did it we're over 700 and we're slowly climbing on up to 800. When we get to 800, we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. One for new subscribers, one for comments. If you are new, you must comment you are new. If you comment already all the time, you must already be subscribed. And you must be a United States citizen to qualify. My subscribe guy just popped up. He is asking everybody to go ahead and smash that like button. He is uh, directing you to smash on that subscriber down below. Don't forget. Don't forget to tap on that bell. I have a ton to get through, so I'm going to just dive right on in. In no particular order, these are called scatterers. You just scatter them all over a display that you make, but I'm going to glue them onto a wreath idea that I have. And I picked up some more of their pretty bulbs to go on that wreath as well, and a bow. I like using different things for bows and to focus on the decoration that I am embellishing and crafting with. Known for the holidays. These are the pot holders. These are so cute. I really like them a lot. And they come in a two pack. And the tea towels. Duck the halls. I love that. I'm obsessed with tea towels. They're like my favorite thing for the kitchen. And this is a drying mat. I love the buffalo check. You can probably do all kinds of DIYs with the drying mat and the tea towels. Make little throw pillows. The candles are back and I grab a couple of them. These are sugar cookies. One ounce, one cookie in a cute little decorative box. This is going to go into a basket that I'm going to be making for a transgender child. And this says a joy to the world. It's a cute little tin. I love their bucket tins. They always have the cutest little things. They're gift bags. Sometimes they come in a two pack or more, so always pay attention to the tag. And this says two, and they're two different style snowmen, and snowmen are my favorite. Also for the gift basket, everybody uses hats at the winter time, especially in my neck of the woods. It gets really cold here in New York State. And here is the tea towel that matches the potholders known for the holidays. 
And here are the pot holders that match the deck to halls. And I love that buffalo check and that red pattern. The wood has been extra fabulous this year at the Dollar Tree. It's a wonderful life. That is so pretty and it looks like it's old. The wood this year is absolutely fabulous at the Dollar Tree. E3 Dollar Tree has something different. It says It's a Wonderful Life, and I just love it. It has the wood punched out and decaled, and the word wonderful, and then painted It's a Life with the pine and the, the berries. That is so pretty. I got a new spatula. That's going to be for a gift basket idea. My other candle. I got a giant gift bag. These giant gift bags could be very expensive everywhere else. When I go to my in-laws, all the gifts go in the bag and they won't be loose all over the car. Then I got the medium sized gift bag. I really like the Irish setter. Relatives of mine had an Irish setter when I was little and it reminded me of my childhood. Got another pack of the trees, a spaghetti grabber for a gift basket idea, and a ladle. These are by Betty Crocker, and some of them are by Cooking Concept. And I saw this was really pretty. It's an ornament from Christmas House. I got this from my pastor's wife. And I thought this box was so pretty. Let's open it up. And it has another box on the inside. And another box on the inside. That is so cute. Just be careful. The trucks do come off. And I taped it. I'll be separating out these boxes to put little things in for people. Then I found these pot holders, most wonderful time of the year. I am set for my holiday pot holders for cooking and baking. And I got some new placemats. They're the only ones I could find this year in the poinsettia pattern. And I thought they were rustic and old looking and I'm going to be doing a craft with these placemats so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything I have coming up with my videos. I got a total of four of these. I found a holiday cooking cookbook and it has the recipes with beautiful colored pictures. Grab another package of the buttery mashed potatoes. I recently did Thanksgiving sides video on a shoestring budget from Dollar Tree. They were really good. One of my bows for my wreath idea. And I picked up a couple of these and they already have a bow on them. And I picked up some ornaments and some things to embellish it and decorate a little further. Then I grabbed Another pack of the English muffins. They go like hotcakes in my house. And in my clip, you saw I was comparing the, the size amount between Ajax and Comet. And Ajax was 30% more. Comet was 50% more. I grabbed two of the Comets for my bathroom cleaning needs. I have one more bag. I'm going to look down for a moment. As you saw in the clips, I grabbed two tubes of the ornaments in red, gold, and green for my crafting. I found a different style welcome mat. I love this one, North Pole, a tree farm. It's a wonderful time of the year, the oven glove pot holder. I found the chocolate coins, and they're double crisp chocolate coins for my children's stockings. 
and for the basket ideas that I have. My dipping sauce by Utz. This is really good. I eat it all the time. I love it with my Tostitos scoops. And it is, I believe, three ounces. 3.7 ounces. And I like it because there's no waste. I thought this would be perfect for a gift basket. And you can embellish it with a little bit of the nautical rope or ribbon from the Dollar Tree, the festive Christmas ribbon. And my friend's going to be so excited, Nate, that I found her chocolate spoons and I got four of them. I'll be emailing her tonight and getting her address and mailing these to her. We've been on Facebook together, I guess, 11 years maybe. I found an elf that I'm going to hang in my bathroom. I've been doing a banner on the one side in my bathroom. And now I found my Christmas one that I like finally. I did a fall one. Uh, now I'm going to do the Thanksgiving or the Christmas one. Some more cookies for a basket idea. One ounces of sugar cookies and a cute little decorative box. And I got a new Sure Fresh container. It's like a casserole dish style. These are not microwavable. And they're not dishwasher safe, so make sure that if you use them, just use them in your refrigerator and wash them out by hand. Then I found, I believe in the magic of Christmas, and I really love the beads on the trim to hang the sign. I also grab a chocolate snowman, also for gift basket ideas, as well as my kids' stockings. And then the other two packages of the chocolate spoon for my friend Nate. And that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. I'm so excited to be able to share all this awesome stuff with you. I'm obsessed and Slightly overcommitted with everything I bought. I fill my car up and I spent a grand total of $55 today for my Dollar Tree haul. But it is so worth it to be able to bring you guys all these awesome items. I met a wonderful person in line tonight and I didn't get her name and I wish I did. She subscribed to my channel and I gave her my card. Thank you so much to the lady behind me in the Dollar Tree and Rensselaer for jumping aboard my growing family here at Let Us Eat. I hope you enjoy everything I have to offer here at my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. Thank you to everyone who supports me every day. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everyone to go ahead and smash that like button. And don't forget to smash on that subscribe board down below. And don't forget to tap on that bell.